over-the-counter allergy medicine for children. Achoo! It is pollen season and my child is miserable. What do I do? Hi, I'm Dr. Monsi Kotwal, board certified pediatrician and medical advisor with Fem Health, and we are going to talk about over-the-counter allergy medications. If you want to keep learning evidence-based health information, be sure to hit the subscribe button below. Allergy symptoms can be, for lack of a better word, really annoying. It does not feel good to feel stuffy or itchy all the time. Allergy symptoms usually start after age three to four when a child has gone through a few years of different seasons, but can start sooner, especially if the symptoms are related to indoor allergens like pets, pests, or dust mites. The good news is, there are lots of over-the-counter options available for children when it comes to allergy symptoms. You can also get advice from your doctor or seek care if the over-the-counter medications just don't seem to help. Some of the most commonly used allergy medications are oral antihistamines, which basically help stop or lessen the allergic response, and therefore the symptoms of allergies. Claritin, or the generic loratadine, Allegra, the generic fexofenadine, or Zyrtec, generic cetirizine, are all commonly used. I usually recommend to start with either Claritin or Zyrtec, or the generic versions, which are just as effective and cheaper, and if the one you choose does not work, you can switch to the other, or try Allegra, which is fexofenadine. You should follow the dosing which is written on the box, which is different for children between two and five to six, or six to 12, or for those 12 and above. For children below two or those with multiple medical issues and on several medications, I would talk to your doctor to see if there are any specific recommendations you should consider. These medications generally work better if used daily, and if symptoms are really bad during a particular season, starting the medications a few weeks before the start of the problem season or seasons can be very effective. If symptoms occur only occasionally, they can be used as needed as well. Benadryl or diphenhydramine is also available over the counter, but in general for allergy symptoms such as a stuffy nose or runny nose, sneezing or itchy eyes, I would recommend the others as Benadryl can actually cause some drowsiness. There are a few over the counter nasal sprays as well, and the age ranges vary for each of them. These include Flonase, Nasacort, Rhinocort, and Nasalcrom. These can be used in addition to an oral antihistamine to help with nasal symptoms or alone if your child's allergy symptoms are limited to the nose and this single therapy works. One of the most common reasons for nasal sprays not working is actually lack of good technique. It is important to spray pointing away towards the outside and not sniff right away. Young children often don't like these nasal sprays and are often not cooperative, so unless you have a child that is cooperative when you spray or can do it properly themselves, this may not be a good option for you. Eye drops can be used as needed for itchy, watery eyes. The main one available over the counter is Ketodafin or Zatador. This should not be used on a daily basis unlike the other medications can be, but used as needed for eye symptoms. I hope you found this helpful. The doctors at Fem Health are here for you and your family. Thank you for watching and be sure to like and subscribe below.